Yo, what's up guys, it's Kizzle here and welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys the papoosh that we just got in Call of Duty World War 2 Now I know I'm a day late, I know that you don't have to type it in the comments but check this out I know I'm a day late but I got the right steps for you I know there are people wondering do you have to do the easter egg or maybe you have to do the casual one Maybe you don't have to do it and I will show you guys the proof and I will also show you guys exactly how you get it And on top we're gonna be comparing it, that's gonna be just an added bonus because I know I'm a day late, but hey, what I'm gonna be doing here is, in this one is basically I'm gonna be comparing this with the original Papoosh that we have in Call of Duty World War 2, that to the World at War version, and also that to the Black Ops 3 version, if I do find the gameplay for Black Ops 3. But hey, the title will let you know what's up, they brought it back. What what else can I say? You shoot the boss and... Oh, neighbor, that mother rapper is dead. Yes, he's dead. <laughs> As you guys can see, right? So I'm, I'm not making this up, but this is a classic one, and it has added rapid fire attachment and the sound is a little bit different the model is basically the same but it has that chrome look to it meaning if you go under let's say a yellow light it will look as though it's a gold one that's why a lot of people are kind of like getting confused is it the golden PPSH or not I mean if you go under the yellow light it, it, it's a golden PPSH but in reality it's a chrome camo and I heard that the original like prestige or not prestige but once you unlock the gold camo Camo and diamond camo in multiplayer for all your guns instead of getting dark matter you will get chrome camo for your multiplayer guns that's exactly what I heard and I feel like that's exactly what they did for us for the zombies community and uh, I'm basically going all around trying to open the pack punch because I will be pack punching it but hey I'm just gonna go ahead skip this part and show you how the pack punch version looks like so right now I'm actually pack punching the gun and uh, as soon as I get it pack punch I will show you guys basically how uh, how much ammo this thing has and everything like that and of course I will be be comparing it right after that and it got 115 ammo in the mag and one over 1000 in reserve this shit is a is a mother effer right here and it's called the babushka which is like i heard that in russian it's uh, it, it means a uh, grandma i'm just gonna be like standing here and you guys can see it's a chrome camel but for some reason it, it shines and we can see it looks like it, it has gold camo but of course it doesn't have a gold camo and right here I'm actually using this gun with infinite ammo and this is a mother effort I absolutely love this thing and it has like such a high ass firing rate and the recoil on this is bananas now I'm gonna be actually using this thing and uh, check this out alright I'm gonna be shooting right now check out the recoil now I'm gonna release aim again and it goes up it just keeps on going up and up and everything like that it goes all the way up it's like 180 degrees like I, I don't know but I'm just gonna go right ahead and play the raw version for like let's say 15 seconds and then I'll play the world at war version I'll play the normal world war 2 version and this one and maybe even slip in the black ops 3 version and I'll be right back and we're gonna talk a little bit more about it and let you know how you get it and everything like that just enjoy the shit out of it
So hey, welcome back, and uh, let me know in the comments real quick which version do you prefer, or which version you like. I, I Like I said, I prefer World War 2 model, but I prefer the World at War sound, if that makes any sense. But now we're just gonna jump in on the steps, and basically I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do. There's not gonna be anything more, there's not gonna be anything less, and I will make sure I have the raw, uncut gameplay. Now, if you have played this map a couple of times, you will know what I'm doing here, but if this is your first time playing this map, now for you, I will make sure I don't cut this gameplay. Now, check this out. This is exactly what we're gonna do here, alright? This is the first ball, and we need to drop over Jolts. Now, Jolts are basically the points. They wanted to have this game or make this game sound like it's realistic. At the same time, the Pack Punch camo doesn't look realistic, if you know what I'm saying. But they, they are calling it Jolts, and we have a backstory, which I'm not gonna get into because of course that's gonna be mind every big, big time right but this is our second ball and this one I, I already have dropped my jewels that's why you don't see the money animation and that's exactly what's gonna happen so once you drop your points you're gonna see money flying up and that means you have completed that and this is our third ball and now I'm gonna show you the last one and I'm gonna zoom in right now on the gameplay here and you can see I have that Joel sign and all you gotta do is uh, press left on the d-pad in order to drop money if you guys were actually wondering money points jewels same shit and that was the last one so once you drop your jewels all you want to do is you want to hit up the box and voila you will see the classic uh, come up and of course you can hold square to pick that up and this is how you do it this is how you unlock the the papoosh and you will get the classic Treyarch version I have not done any Easter egg I mean do I look like I can do the Easter egg no right so that's exactly what you gotta do in order to get the papoosh and uh, it's a really cool mini Easter egg but check out some other videos on the screen subscribe if you're new and hey for some reason my last video got demonetized which means that it's not gonna hit your guys sub boxes correctly so if you have missed that video check that out it should be on the screen but anyways guys i'll see you very freaking soon